we have our spreadsheet. And for example, we want to highlight or apply certain styles that Excel has defined by default. We have them in this button here or Tools ribbon in the Start tab. For example, we could say that this header, this title of the sheet, we want to apply the style, for example, this title, Title 1, Title 2, the titles. We have several that we can choose very easily simply by hovering the mouse over them. For example, we see that we like Title 2. We see that it is more or less in line with the data that we have. For example, now we might want to apply a style to the headers of the different columns. For example, Title 3. We see that it has been assigned some colors, a blue color, not too loud, but that might be useful. In the same way it is defined for the titles, we can also emphasize the different cells. For example, this one here, we can emphasize it more, say 40%, more than the starting data, which are these ones, giving them less emphasis. We see that in any case, we see that, thanks to the cell styles, we can very quickly make our spreadsheet more attractive. These are the styles Excel has by default. We in the Page Design tab have different themes. Each theme, let's say, defines a series of styles, a set of styles that might be useful to us. The default styles are these ones from Office. But we could also apply, for example, a brighter emphasis. Here we see that the colors are more striking, stronger, a larger typeface and with another font type. There are different themes defined by default with Excel. And we could pick and be happy with any of them. In the end, it is a question of being able to easily define a style for our spreadsheet. And once printed out and presented of achieving an effect, the effect we are aiming for in terms of the presentation of these results.